you find the issue summary. So this is your overview, and this is the very first thing that you should look at, because this describes what you're doing, defining the issue. So this is your basic research. Maybe you know something about this topic, um, maybe you don't, you're going to start doing research to find out about it, just what it is. And here's some questions that you're gonna to have to focus on as you're doing your research. Are there any special terms to define uh, for your topic? Sometimes some of these topics, they have new terms. Like if you were doing um, a discrimination, you'd have to understand institutional versus systemic racism. What's the difference between the two? Um, if you are looking at taxes, you might want to um, see what the different tax systems are, progressive tax system, et cetera. So what are some of those terms? Uh, who does this issue affect primarily? And who is demanding that it be solved? Because in, with any issue, you've got the people who are affected and you have interest groups who are um, who want to see something done about it. So who are the people who are going out and saying this is a big problem? Um, what are the effects of this issue? So um, for instance, if we're talking about COVID, it is you know people dying, uh, long COVID, uh, it's spreading, uh, et cetera. So what are the effects? Um, Specifically, um, who's being affected? Okay, um, you know, cities, rural areas, etc. When did this become an issue? Now, uh, an important one on that is you don't. We're, we're talking about currently. You don't have to go all the way back to ancient Egypt or something like that when you're dealing with it. When did it really become an issue today? What's what's brought it to a head? And what are they trying to do in the past to solve it? So what are some of the attempts that they have made? So these are the questions, sort of guiding questions that you'll try and answer as you go, go through. Now, this isn't an assignment where you just copy these questions and then uh, answer them. This is, a, this is an actually, it's, it's a short little essay is basically what it is. So a good place to start for looking at is just Google. And um, most people have a lot of luck by just taking their topic and putting it in the search bar and see what, what comes up as far as that topic. Now, a lot of people get confused and think that their topic is just about the state that they're involved you're doing this for a member of the House of Representatives, and therefore it's a federal, they're gonna propose a federal solution that's gonna affect all states. So it's not climate change in Texas, it's climate change overall and affecting the country um, as a whole. Um, it also might help to be to narrow stuff down, for instance, food security. Who's got food security? All right, so that can be fairly broad. So you might wanna narrow it down uh, to smaller stuff like food stamps. Food stamps is a program that is going on uh, right now or school lunch programs, et cetera. The other thing as you're going through is maintaining your sources. As you do research, what I highly recommend that you do is you have a Google doc open and you get all of the information on the source that you use, the URLs, um, notes, et cetera, because this is gonna be used to build your bibliography, okay? So that's your overall guide sheet. Now let's look at it. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so you can see that it is in Chicago style format. And if you're not familiar with Chicago style format, basically it's got to look like this. And each one of these little assignments is going to have a title like this, like this one is defining the issue. So it says define the issue. And then 
It's your topic, tax reform, for Congressman Daniel Webster, Republican of the 10th Congressional District of Florida. This is where you've got to look up your district. So for instance, Justin would be doing climate change for Congressman John Carter, Republican, just put in the R, of the 31st Congressional District of Texas. So that's what would go right here. Now, strangely enough, a lot of people make mistakes when they're using my templates. If you just copy it, um, your name goes here. Replace this. Government period one, this is period one. You'll be surprised how many people who are like in period six will turn it in. It says period one. <laughs> um, my name, that's fine. And then the date that it's due. And it's due on September 7th. So it should say September 7, 2021. Now, going down um, the issue tax reform. And so it's in, it's in paragraphs as you're just explaining what's the issue, answering those questions from the overview sheet. And then it has a bibliography right here. And this is Chicago format right here. 